Hi, today we'll be talking about the MAX20094 and the MAX20095. It's an integrated backup battery charger, a state of health monitor, and a boost controller all inside of one package. The primary application for this part, uh, it's an automotive e-call or telematic systems. So if your car is ever in a situation where the main battery gets uh, disconnected somehow and it's an emergency situation, uh, the backup battery will automatically kick in and the boost controller will supply enough power to power the key electronics to um, get through the situation. Uh, so it's a pretty important part, um, but it is a versatile part and it can be used for many other applications that require a backup battery system. So in this video today, we're going to be talking about the charging aspect of this. Uh, so we have one of these uh, lithium ion batteries and we'll be uh, getting it to full charge using the evaluation kit in the uh, evaluation GUI. So here we have the EV kit. It's already been hooked up to the power supply. We have 14 volt rail coming in to this MBAT1 pin. Uh, we have a 4 volt rail, low voltage rail coming in to the SUP1 pin here. Uh, this one's going to be used for the actual charging. So we'll take the power from this pin and then that'll charge the backup battery, uh, which is this guy here. I'll be hooking it right into the 3 pin connector. There we go. Okay, so I have two multimeters to my right. The right hand one is set to the current mode and it is in line with the four volt. So we know how much current is passing through into the battery. Um, so that's already done. Then I'll take the one on the left and put it across the BBAT node here. And this is measuring the backup battery's voltage. So you can see that it reads 2.84 volts the battery is rated for 3.2 volts, so we have some charging that we can do, which I'll demonstrate right now. Now let's look at the GUI. So the GUI is available on our website, and once it's installed and started up, you'll see that the Mini-Q USB has been recognized by the black text here, and that the EV kit is connected and powered up properly by the black text on this corner. Uh, the GUI is meant to control the I2C module within the IC externally, so in the actual application, all of this will be handled with a microcontroller that will be programmed by the customer. Um, but right now, for evaluation, we have this GUI to simplify that process. So each of the boxes here represent each I2C register. Um, right now, we're going to be looking at the ones relevant for the charger section. So charger CC is how much current will be used to charge the battery. Uh, right now, it's set to 50 milliamps. And I'll keep it at that for now so that we can see the difference it makes later. Uh, charger CV is the threshold. So we set this um, to make sure that the controller knows to switch from continuous current mode to continuous voltage mode once it hits a threshold voltage. Uh, this battery will want to go to 3.2 volts on this one. This will really depend on the type of battery you're using, so just make sure to check um, the manufacturing data sheet for that. Okay, and then everything is enabled. The charger right now is disabled, as you see on the status here. And now we'll hit charge enable in the fourth register. Now that we've enabled the charger, we see that 50 milliamps is on the current meter and that the voltage is very slowly increasing um, from what we saw previously. And that's because 50 milliamps is not that much power. We're going to ramp up the charger current now using the slider and we'll just jump all the way to one amp. So on the multimeter, we see it at 988 milliamps. Um, and you can noticeably see the voltage increasing. So this will go on until we hit very close to that 3.2 volt threshold. And then once that happens, it'll switch to CV and it'll trickle voltage, um, trickle charge until full charge. So now we've let the battery charge for a bit and we've reached the point where it's crossed from the CC to the CV. So you can see on the GUI in the charger status that it says CV now. Um, the other notable thing is that on the multimeter to the right, the current is dropping off as we speak, um, but the voltage is around 3.17. So 3.2 is that threshold. Basically what's going on is that even though we set the charge current to one amp, as we see on the, the fifth register here, um, continuous voltage tries to maintain a very precise 3.2 volts, so it regulates the current um, accordingly. So it trickle charges until it finishes charging all the way. All right, now that we're done charging on the GUI over here on the charger status register, 
you can see that the charge mode is done and that completes our tutorial for the battery charging portion. If you're interested in videos about the state of health or the boost controller, or if you're interested in getting a hold of one of these EV kits or IC samples, uh, please visit our website at www.maximumintegrated.com. Thank you.